What is going on guys? Josh from Boss Fitness here, online coach and personal trainer, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to do leg extensions properly. It's a simple exercise that you guys really seem to like to know because it's the things where, you know, you have confirmation bias. You say, I've done it this way always, so it has to be right. So if you're watching this video, you're probably an educated person who wants to challenge what they know and ensure they're doing their exercises properly. So to start off, we're gonna go by three common mistakes that you probably are making. Number one mistake, you guys are tired, you've probably done your squats, hip thrusts, all that stuff before this, you come to this sucker at the end. You hop on here and you start to swing. It's a big mistake, right? Someone like me, who's 6'1", 6'2", someone who's 5'3", you need to set this up in a completely different way. It just makes no sense, right? You can't just come jump on and do what someone else is doing. Everyone is made differently. Um, I have really long legs, some would be my height with short legs. So don't just do the same height as your buddy. Take the time to set it up properly for you because you could be really missing out on contractions. Take Kyle, for instance. When Kyle does it on XL, my setting, you can see he's almost stopping short, right? Like he's not really contracting that quad fully. It looks like he's on a slant, he's coming up, he is getting contraction, but he's not getting optimal contraction. Whereas on the other side here, when it's at a medium, just above the foot, just um, kind of at the bottom of the shin there, he's getting a full contraction. He's fully lengthening that quad and fully contracting it. And that's all because of machine setup. Number two is, this might seem super obvious, but to a lot of people it's not, is how far you have the back extension. If it's too far away, you're gonna be on that really big slant, and that's gonna cause you to kind of lift your butt up, which is gonna look really silly here as well. You can see Kyle swinging away, butts coming up in the air. These are weird reps. This is probably your buddy that loads up the full stack, can't even squat a plate, and he's like bragging about his quad extension. Guys, no one cares how much you do on the quad extension. I go pretty light. I just contract the crap out of my legs, just pump the squeeze. You can see that's how I'm really developing my quads right now so really make sure you have that back in a good position you find you're decently elongated you're in a strong position where you can posture yourself and really kind of just contract forward without your butt coming off the bench before we go into the overview of this exercise please smash that like and subscribe button if you have learned something new okay so this is everything you need to know about this exercise so first you want a back position where you feel good so you can see I'm in a strong position um, I'm pretty leveled out, I can fully extend here. Now, the biggest, biggest thing is a right angle from the start. I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but you want this right angle. If your knee's far over your toes like this, it's gonna put so much stress on that knee. So when this was lower, like Kyle saw, you can see that it was hurting his knee, right? So it's all about the position. Um, it's tough for me because I'm pretty tall, so this is a little bit over, but not by much. If it's really, really over, you're gonna wanna find another machine. You're gonna just destroy your knee joint, and knee pain is not good, so make sure you have this clean right angle okay so in a position like this I have it loaded I'm ready to go now it's all about that squeeze a lot of people stop here I don't know why you're limiting yourself right I'm working the teardrop yes but when I get that last little bit of range of motion I'm just dominating everything you're gonna feel it right up your legs okay so don't be this guy don't just do this get the most out of your time in the gym every set every rep optimize it be the best you can be and that's how you're gonna develop your physique these small things will make you better than other people with what they're doing in the gym Train smart, train hard, it's better than just training hard. So as you guys can see, I'm starting low. I'm big squeeze, nice slow negative. You don't wanna to go too low and lose tension. You wanna come all the way up, max that squeeze, come down. When you come in a low, you can see with the quad, the difference, so that's a, like a small contraction, and then here's a huge contraction. You can see the blood flow instantly. Legs are getting fired up, and it's not even leg day. So three simple variations. First one is uh, just using blood flow restriction bands. I love them, I personally use them. Kind of cutting off that blood, we have a video on that. So if you want to check that out, you can. I don't have my bands with me, so I'm not going to show you that. But for two and three, I'm going to show you. So second up is when you point your toes together like this, you can get a lot of that inner head as you guys can see here. So my toes are pointed like this, Kyle, if you want to film them. And that's how you're going to get that squeeze. And that's how you're going to work that teardrop. All the way up, boom. You can switch your stance to change things up. Now when I'm pointing outward, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that medial and external part of my quad. If I'm up, boom it, just killing it. Alrighty, so hopefully that'll help you guys take your form to the next level. Uh, just a quick note guys, we have two spots available for online coaching. We go through complete form checks, so anybody who's looking to fix their form on a deadlift, a squat, a quad extension, you send over videos, we answer you guys daily. Unlimited communication, motivation, accountability check-ins, and help with a workout routine as well as macronutrient uh, management. So make sure to click that first link in the description below. We'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new, subscribe. Peace out.